better this time with the volley. Needed to be, because Kyrgios is so quick. Cilic celebrating, saluting his box as he claims the first set. The tie-break it was, but one that he took charge of and takes in the end, 7-3. Wow. The worst of starts for Kyrgios. A third double fault and an invitation to Cilic. But a soft serve does it for him in the end. Marin Cilic is through to his fourth Queen's final. The 2012 champion, just too good in the tie breaks for Nick Kyrgios. But he's still shown us some tremendous tennis over the last couple of weeks on grass, and he'll still be a handful for anyone who faces him next. But it's Marin Cilic, the man of the moment, into another final at Queen's. Wonderful, incredible hitting from Jeremy Shardy. Backed himself, backing into the corner there to launch this. And you could hear the efforts from Djokovic to keep this in play. He would have been more than happy with that. Just picks him off. Precision, perfect from Djokovic. And surely now, with enough of a lead here to Close this one out very quickly. 5-2. He got no reaction from the box. He demands it. And why not when he's played like that? He's done him again! Oh, my! The speed of the man across the court here and what he produces when he gets there. He has to run the full diagonal, but again, Shardy be kicking himself for the air he gives us volley. Oh, it's a beautiful backhand cross. And apologies, I'm not quite sure what for. Appeared to come out the middle of the racket. He takes it in his stride and really is impressing now with some fine tennis again. Back to his best, it would seem. You can see what it means to Novak Djokovic back in the final of an ATP event for the first time since the middle of last year. And the love pouring out from him and back from the crowd. He'll be back tomorrow for an all Balkan affair when he takes on Croatia's Marin Cilic.